Yeah, man. Happy Earth Strong. Jamaica is 60 Earth Strong, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. You happy about it? Me? Yeah. Big time. Why? Big time. Because we reggae music, mm. seen? Put Jamaica up on top. Yeah, hey. Yes. <laughs> It's not the political system. Mm -hmm. I'm a politician. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do coke and the crack. I reggae put to make up and tap. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, Old I, I, pirate, I, I, yes, the rabbi. Way. Stole life from the merchant ships. Mm -hmm. Minutes after they took I. I'm the bottomless pit. But my hands was made strong. By the hands of the Almighty, he forward in this generation triumphantly. Won't you help me sing? Bing, 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 bang, bang. This song of freedom, that's all I ever had. A little flat, a little flat, a little flat, but good. That was good, that was good. <laughs> Jamaica, so rum and a punch. <laughs> what kind of rum? With the local Ray and yeah. his nephew. Local, local. <laughs> Ray and his ah. nephew. <laughs> dangerous pair. You want me to tell you how it tastes? It tastes just like this island. Sweet, nice, and smooth. Mm. As a Jamaican, you know, when you see people come here and experience the country, how does it make you feel? Um, Jamaicans on a whole, yeah. we like to show off our island. Yeah. We love people. We're coasting people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like to say we have the best beaches. Yes. We like to say we have the best resorts. Yes. We have the best food, yes. the best music, yes. the best people. Yeah. So come, I will show you. Yeah. <laughs> so we always invite us and go. We'll show you, man. Yeah. You know, if you say you have it somewhere better than us, come and experience it. <laughs> we'll show it to you, man. We give you a good vibe. When you come back, you say, we'll come back tomorrow. Yeah. We'll come back next week. We'll come back next year. Yeah. Yeah. So we like when people come and experience our culture and our vibe. You know? And, um, you know, when you come back, we feel good. Yeah, that's one thing I feel like. JA is always about a vibe. Yeah. Everything is about a vibe. If there's not a vibe, it doesn't belong here. Exactly, exactly. Our people are naturally friendly. Mm -hmm. And um, when, when we talk to each other and meet you for the first time, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, we touch. We say, hey, what's going yeah, on? We bump us, yeah. or we bump elbow, yeah. or something like that. But we know in some parts of the world, touching can be offensive. Right. But our nature is like that. Yeah. Our culture is like that. Yeah. You know, we're generally and friendly. people, too. Right. You can walk up to anyone on the street and ask for directions or ask them a question about their country, how they feel, and they'll right. answer you naturally without even thinking twice, why are you here? Why are you asking these questions? Yeah. No, because we want to tell you, mm -hmm. you know, especially the foreigners. We yeah. say, what are going on, man, as we see you? We want to go on, you want to go down the road? Yeah. You want some feet? Yeah. Me show you around here, so me show you this up. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to go to club later? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm sure you Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> 60 years of independence, what does that mean to you? Well, it, it shows that we have come a far away. Um, and we've been around the block. <laughs> we've been around the block. You know, many struggles over the years to get where we are. Um, a lot of development has happened. Um, and Jamaica has really, you know, um, made a lot of impact on the world when it comes down to sports. You think about Usain Bolt. Yeah. You think about reggae, Bob Marley. So, um, over those years, those 60 years, we definitely made an impact, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which, which part of the road you can go and ask anybody, where is Jamaica? A tiny little island right in the Caribbean Sea there. Yeah. But people know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> impact is or even know, Yeah, or even know somebody from Jamaica, mm -hmm. you know, so. Not you know, many other countries can kind of say that. Well, I know I'm not, I can't speak for other countries, but we can, I can't speak for Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the politeness. That's the Jamaican yeah. politeness. <laughs> but also the shade. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the blue mountains. 
Oh, that's where they, that's the world famous coffee. There you go, you have it. Yeah, man, so that's a blue mountain, 7,000 feet above sea level. Wow. wow. It's our highest mountain here. Produces, in Jamaica? Yes, in Jamaica. It's also, do the wealthy people live on the Blue Mountain? Yes, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you live on the Blue Mountain? No. <laughs> Never lived on the Blue Mountain. Who lives up there? Yeah, pardon? Who lives there? Come on, the locals. And you, when mm. you go up, you'll see the beauty about the Blue Mountain. We will not go all the way up to the peak, but you will see a lot of And there are celebrities in Jamaica who live up there. Right. Who live in the Blue Mountain. Can you drop some names? Ah, uh, I may not want to do that because they have private villas up there. <laughs> oh, so you have to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have very private mansions. What's your favorite thing to show people? Of the island? Yeah. Um, my favorite part is mostly like off the beaten part, you know, like Portland. Yeah. Um, Portland is kind of like a nature reserve of the island. Mm -hmm. Even the color of the ocean or the beach on that side is totally different. Right. You don't get on this side, on Montego Bay, on the north coast, you get like a turquoise blue right. water. But when you go to Portland, it's like a royal blue, mm. deep, very pretty. And give me a rhythm. When the fruits step on right, punch up, punch up, turn them down, mango time. Win the drink, talk to the mango time. Rhythm. Nice tip, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I mean, we're getting a bit of rain here in Jamaica today, but that's okay. We have to go to the world famous Blue Mountain Coffee State. They say this is some of the best coffee in the world. I'll let you know if that's true. Welcome to UCC's Greatness State. I am Jerome and you are? Kelly. Brandon. Rashad. Brandon, Brandon. <laughs> so, have you ever drank the Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee before? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. So my question is, how did you know it was actually Blue Mountain coffee? I'm going by what the uh, label said. You're going by what mm -hmm. the label said. So generally, uh, a packet can be like 90%, uh, well, 10% Blue Mountain beans, and the other 90% from anywhere else in the world. And you'll see it labeled being uh, Jamaican Blue Mountain Lions. coffee. But if you read the fine prints, it actually will tell you that then it's a Blue Mountain blend, right? Mm. So generally what you should always look for is typically uh, the word saying 100% Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee and then uh, it must have also the Coffee Industry Board seal of approval. So today, these are all the actual coffee beans that are produced in the world. And so throughout the world, there are actually 72 different beans, right? All of which comes from only two species. You have what is the Kofia Arabica and the Kofia Robusta species. Naturally, each of these beans are only produced in a specific region of the world, and that is the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, which is 23 and a half degrees north and south of the equator. So once any country lies in that particular region, it can naturally produce coffee. So it's only within here the Blue Mountains of Jamaica, that these two beans are produced, the Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, which are the Blue Mountain Peaberry and the Blue Mountain number one coffee bean. Blue Mountain coffee by taste is never sour because it actually produces sugar, right? It also produces at least three to five times higher levels of sugar than any other coffee in the world, right? So that makes Blue Mountain coffee naturally sweet and the fact is it doesn't require any milk, sugars or artificial sweetness. But we're heading to the top of the estate. New coffee plant, mm. right? And the fact is, this one was planted in April of uh, of 2020. Alright, All right, so we finally reached the top of the Blue Mountain Estate. I wish I could show you guys the views, but of course, we're getting a bit of rain here. But all good, I can tell you this, it was a journey, we made it, and I told you at the beginning, is the coffee the best in the world? It definitely is. Sorrel and the rum, mm. white rum. The sorrel and the rum. Yeah. And then it's going to give me what again? Hold on. You have to come here. You no, hey, you can do it. You have to tell me, you have here, one more time. It's going to make me feel what? It's not like you feel like a nice. Yes. But if you're not uh, um, used to like the Roman, it's mm -hmm. alright. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of. Well, I feel excited. 
But if like you want to feel excited now, just cover it. Yeah. It feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to come look for you after. Okay, I'm going to manage you again. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, um, we're actually about to go enter Devon House. Wow. Oh, wait, the Prime Minister. Uh, in, in the <laughs> <laughs> so this house, by the way, we're gonna get a tour and we're gonna learn more about it, but I can tell you, it is one of the most historic houses in all of Jamaica. Right, ma'am? Yes, it was built in 1881 by Jamaican first black millionaire, George Stebel. Wow. And that was his wife, man. He was a real black man. Father <laughs> from Germany, mother Jamaican, and he dug and he found gold. Now, returned to Jamaica, he invests in properties. He bought 99 because it's against the law for one person to own 100 properties. Wow. He, not, he chose one property out of the 99, which was known as Devon Penn. And he built this lovely house on Devon Penn, and he named the house Devon House. You Sorry. think they really needed to dance hall back then? Mm -hmm. Reggae and dance song? No man, they never had reggae. Remember, they started, Jamaica music started with ska. Yeah. Uh, no. The Mentor. Yeah. Ska. Um, rock steady. Yeah. Uh, reggae. Yeah. And dance song. So they missed out on the good parties. Right. Don't come in come She's ready. She's ready. Okay, so we just got to our next location. We're actually going to a place called the Dance Hall Hostel. And at this place, let me just tell you, this is basically where the birth of Dance Hall occurred and some of the biggest names from the music genre have recorded here. Come. Talk to me about the significance of the place that we're standing in right now. Where are we? We are at the Dance Hall Hostel. We are at the former studio of um, Bujubantan, Cell Block Studio. Wow. And this is where we have Mr. Sil Gordon who operates the place, who used to be Bujubantan's partner, who is also the audio engineer for Shabarang's two Grammy Award winning albums. Um, in this studio, we have, um, have done albums like um, Shining Time by Marcia Griffiths, Love From A Distance, Beres Hammond. Wow. This is where Temperature was mixed and Temperature is the song by Sean Paul that went number one on the um, on bil Billboard chart. Everybody knows that Everybody track. Everybody knows that track. <laughs> um, and you, you name the, the artists from, from, from the 90s coming up, the Bounty Killers, the Beanemans, they've all used this studio. Till Shiloh. Um, wow. You, you name the songs on Till Shiloh. Till I'm late to rest, um, Af Mama Africa, Jeez. Um, I'm a living while I'm living to the father. That, all the songs on the Till Shiloh album, wow. all of them. This is where the true essence of Bojo Bantan was born. You know, it's so interesting hearing you talk about the history of where dance hall began. And here we are this year celebrating 60 years of independence mm -hmm. for Jamaica. What does that mean for you and the community here? Whoa, it's 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 elevation mm. and it's more motivation. Mm -hmm. we've, we've made our mark on the world. This this is our this is with Diamond Jubilee and I'm feeling really good about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Happy independence. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey guys, so as you know, Jamaica is known for its rum, so we're actually gonna be checking out Hampton Estate. This place actually used to be a plantation centuries ago. It's still in operation today, not as a plantation, but as a rum facility. Let's go check it out. It's 63% alcohol. How does it taste? Ah, delicious. This is what we needed to start the day. The property is 270 years old. Oh, 
Uh, this is actually much more. Um, this is like a perfume. Like a 60 years of independence for Jamaica, what does it mean for you? For me? Yeah. Well, slowly but surely we're a very young nation, but it's a gradual improvement, so to speak. Mm. We love what we do. Right. So I love showing my country off. In 60 years, we've actually done a lot. Jamaicans are actually influential across the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about Jamaica? Um, I really love the food. Yeah. Yeah, the cuisine. <laughs> it doesn't show though. <laughs> You've probably seen uh, this on TikTok, and if you haven't, we're going to show you. But this is something that a lot of tourists love to do when they come to Jamaica. And this is rafting down the Martha Bray River. So, can't wait to, to try this out. I have my life jacket on because you know I'm not the best swimmer, but I definitely know how to float. <laughs> Sixty, by the way. Yeah, man. Happy Earth Strong. To make a sixty Earth Strong, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. You happy about it? Me? Yeah. Big time. Why? Big time. Because we reggae music. Mm. See? Put Jamaica on top. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yes. <laughs> It's not the political system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a politician. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do coke and the crack. I reggae put to make a band tap. Pop, pop, pop! <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? Uh, originally, I'm, I'm old school, you know. Yeah. Uh, coming down from way back when, like, you know. Um, Owen Gray, those, those man, Linval Thompson, those original singer. Okay. Horace Handy. Yes. Now those man come down to um, Gregory Isaac and come down to this guy, Alton Ellis. So what's your favorite song? My favorite song? Yeah. A whole heap of favorite me, man. Whole heap. Old give, school. I tell you I'm a old school, you know. So give us your favorite reggae song. What me love? Yeah. A whole heap, you say me love, man. Serenade us. A whole, a whole heap of favorite me, a whole heap, man. Serenade us. I know I'm not a singer. Yeah, man. I'm not a singer, man, no. Ten seconds. Nah, I just am not a singer. Yes? Yeah, man. <laughs> Franklin, you gonna sing us something? No, Old I'm, pirate, I'm, yes, they rabbi. Wait. Stole life from the merchant ships. Mm -hmm. Minutes after they took I. I'm the bottomless pit. But my hands was made strong. By the hands of the Almighty. Woo. He <laughs> forward in this generation. Triumphantly. Won't, Won't you, you help me sing? sing? Bing, 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 bang, bang. This song of freedom, freedom. That's all, all I, I ever have. have. A little flat, a little flat, a little flat, but good. That was good, that was good. <laughs> people here in that stiff. Mm -hmm. Proud people. It's about culture. It's mm -hmm. about feeling included. It's about all of that goodness. I love it. I love it. What 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 do you want to see for the next 60 years for Jamaica? Well. I think same development, mm -hmm. you know, better education, you know, better roads, you know, things calm down a little more. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. But I think we have, we have, you know, the foundation set. Yeah. It's just to step up, you know? It's just step it up yeah, now. Probably one of the most important men, men on this island, Minister Bartlett. Thanks so much for coming oh, back on the BG Show. That kindness is a beyond me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of kindness, you know, <laughs> it's not too much. <laughs> How you been since we last chatted? Oh well, it's been a roller coaster period, in fact. Yeah. Um, but I would say we've been rolling better than we've been coasting. You know, tourism obviously impacts nearly everybody on this island like everybody feels some form of the impact mm -hmm. of it and um, we've been speaking to a lot of people asking them you know looking back at 60 years what does that mean to you and we've heard such a diverse range of answers 
as a minister of tourism in this country. What does 60 years of independence mean wow. to you? Well, I tell you what, 60 years has, uh, has shown us how we evolve. Mm -hmm. And um, in the process, it has been itself an oscillatory graph. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been up and down and over and under. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we've never gone out. 60 years has given us a chance you now to stop and look and, and reflect. Mm -hmm. But it also gives us a chance to forecast, to look beyond this. What are we going to be? What this great idea called Jamaica is going to morph into? One of the strong points that we can look at mm -hmm. coming out of the 60 years has been the emergence of, of, of tourism mm -hmm. as a driver of economic development in Jamaica. Uh, and when we look at what tourism has done to sleepy little fishing villages and almost non-existent little rural townships, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's phenomenal. Ocherias. Ocherias was a nothing in terms of economic importance. Ocherias is today, in the last 60 years, one of the most active, thriving, right, bustling economic centers in the country. Montego Bay, 60 years ago, Montego Bay was uh, a little town. Mm -hmm. Now, it is the most significant commercial and uh, economic center in the Caribbean. Knowing that Jamaica did so well with tourism over the last 60 years, what do you wish the nation did better? Yes. Well, what, what I, I think we need to do better is education. Okay. I, I say that without even batting an eyelid. We have not done well enough with our education. We have not educated our people mm -hmm. sufficiently. We've not invested enough in it. I think we've been able to develop what I call an elitist education mm -hmm. system that creates a cream of the crop that's very small but powerful so that the, 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 the one, two percent mm -hmm. of our people excel globally, powerful, but then the rest of us mediocre mm -hmm. and or underperforming. So what we need is the transformation of that whole education. I think the government of today that's where our head is. We, we, education. Yes, yes. And we are very, very heavy on the transformation thing. To create a new content of your education. To, to, to create a new man, a new type of Jamaican mm -hmm. that is more tolerant, that is more understanding of uh, his responsibilities, that understands relationships, and that is able to uh, discuss and solve problems and, and, and to deal with conflicts. You know, to remove that harsh, rash, brash, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, Jamaican who has a difficulty mm -hmm. resolving differences without force. So, Minister Burlett, thanks so much for joining us on the show again. And Thank you. can't wait to see more gold medals. Oh, yes. A bigger tourism industry. A bigger tourism industry. And that enhanced A greater Jamaican impact tourism. on the global scene. Even Talawa? Uh, even Talawa. <laughs> <laughs>
If not a strong swimmer, you can advise it to a live bass. But okay swimmer, no problem. Okay. All right. Everybody snap before you. Nobody first timer. Jamaica celebrating 60 years of independence. Yes, man. Big, big. Big, big. How you feel about that? Real good. Yeah. Yeah, man. What does that mean to you? Why? Great, great, you know that. Yeah. We're Jamaican, we're celebrating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But as a Jamaican, what does 60 years of independence mean? That body is just free. Mm. Yeah, free. You will be chained and mando. Right. Yeah, man. Hey BG Squad, thanks so much for checking out our channel and listen to this, we have more great content for you like this video right here and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.